Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am showing how to create a fire sword effect in HitFilm. So as long as you have the fire layer effect itself, then you can do this. I don't think this comes with the free version of HitFilm, but it comes in most legacy versions like this version of HitFilm Pro, as well as the subscription as well. I'm going to start by taking a piece of raw footage and dragging it into the composite shot to make a composite shot out of it. Now you can see that the sword itself has a hilt side and a tip side and what I want to do is I want to assign points that follow those sections. So I'm going to start by opening new layer point and then I'm going to name this hilt and then I will duplicate that layer and I will name the duplicate tip. From here I want to open up each of these. I'll start with the hilt, transform properties and then keyframe the position of that and just place that where the hilt is. Okay, and then I'll back up here and the hilt is actually somewhere about there. If I go to the end, it's about there. And then what I start doing is I start placing this in different places and I start by just doing the ends and then I do in-betweens like this until I get to the point where I have keyframed the entire movement of the hilt. And then I would do the same with the tip point as well. So I'm going to zip right through that. It'll only take me a few minutes. A few moments later. And so after a few minutes, you can see I have keyframed the position of these points so that they follow the hilt and the tip points of the sword itself. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this composite shot into my composite folder just so that it is a little bit cleaner here. So what I want to do now is create a new plane layer and click OK and I'll drag this plane layer into the composite shot and I'm going to search for and find the light sword effect. Now the light sword 2 point auto layer only effect is being deprecated and right now it's still available um, but if it is no longer available then you will want to use the light sword ultra i'm going to go ahead and use the light sword 2.0 auto because they're going to ultimately be the same as far as we're concerned for what we're doing normally this is designed to create sort of a star wars lightsaber effect but what we are going to do with this is we are going to create an alpha mat that will be used to add the fire effect onto the original footage. So under the light sword effect, I'm going to twirl open the hilt properties and assign the hilt point to that. And then I will twirl open the tip properties and assign the tip point to that. And I want to zero out the position. So now you can see that that is swinging around here and it matches the sword exactly. So from here, I just want to make a few changes, starting with under the core, I'm going to go ahead and make it completely white. And then I'm going to drop the feather completely and also increase the stability to the maximum. Under the inner glow, I'm just going to reduce that to zero. So now I basically just have this white mat on a black background that I will be using. This is all I will need. So now I'm going to go ahead and select the new plane and the two points, right click on this and select make into a composite shot. I'm going to call this the mat and click OK. So now all of those items are being brought over into a new composite shot. And all I want to do is just change this so that there's an alpha channel. So to do that, I will search for and find the demult key and I will drop that here on the new plane. So now this is a white lightsaber effect on a transparent background. Back in the original comp, I can go ahead and you can now actually see that sitting on there, right? I'm going to go ahead and drop that underneath because I won't need it. But from here, I'm going to go ahead and add the fire effect to the main layer itself. And you can see it is attached to the whole layer. And what I will do is open up the flammable region and select the mat as the flammable region. And now it's only burning from that flammable region area, which is the 
mat that I created using the light sword effect. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now, understand that this sword does go behind me and you can see that there's a little bit of uh, fire there. So I will have to mask this out so that it is not visible until it becomes visible where it's supposed to be and then go from there. And when we're done, it looks like this. So lots of things that you can do if you've already created a light sword effect or a lightsaber, um, play with that because you already had those points created. Also, if you have a fairly slow moving sword, then you can actually track those points into place as well. That saves a lot of time. So I'm Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.